Can you speak about, because you do treat adolescents, you, I think you treat children um, with, mm-hmm. with psychiatry. Um, you know, and I'll, I'll just share this quick story about a family member. Um, a young girl in my family um, had an, an issue with anxiety and, the, you know, the, the family was describing this um, uh, symptom as really like tantrums, like ever since like age two, but the tantrums really lasted like every day and multiple times a day. Um, mm-hmm debilitating kind of tantrums for five more years. Like, so the terrible twos that everybody talks about sort of saying no to everything, uh, inability to tolerate new things, right? Real sensitivity to change, um, difficulty with demands like going to school, brushing teeth, that sort of thing. So that lasted for five years and the family was kind of organized around or disorganized, I should say, around kind of naming this as like, well, just problematic child behavior. And despite like all sorts of interventions uh, behaviorally, compassionately, um, counseling, family counseling, uh, even sensory types of interventions that are reserved more for kind of less verbal um, people, children, and nothing was working. So after five years, this you know this uh, the, the parents in this family really um, decided, hey, we're going to try psychiatry for our child. They had the child start taking uh, Zoloft in this case, and. Like it was like night and day, Joel, within, within like two weeks, they had their little girl back um, to, you know, kind of being responsive and able to tolerate kind of the normal uh, disappointments of every day. Um, so, but I know this family struggled a great deal with their fear that psychiatric medications might somehow harm the developing brain of their daughter, you know, and in this case, they needed results. And so they were able to get, you know, they overcame that fear, but- how do you handle that with, with kids? Is, are there, are there, do we know much about how it affects the brain of children? I wish we knew more. Um, and I am with people that I tend to take a conservative approach to the use of medication. But the wrinkle on that for me is, you know, going back to this idea that the, the forcefulness of my recommendation is often proportional to the severity of the problem. Um, you know, even that even still applies in childhood. And, um, you know, we do have research to show the benefits of a wide variety of psychiatric medications in children as young as six. Um, and some um, experience using those medications in children even before the age of six. And what I try to frame for people is um, Prozac, for example, which I think is the prototypical serotonin reuptake inhibitor, has been around. Uh, almost 40, 40 years now. And many people started it in the 80s as younger folks and have been on it to, for successfully f- for decades. Um, and of course, we don't have these, we don't have a 40-year study, but the FDA does this post-marketing surveillance where after a drug is approved, you know, you still report adverse events related to it. Um, and so my hope, my, my belief is that if there were some really clear developmental problems that emerged because of these medications, my hope is that we would have detected them by now. Um, But it's a bit complicated because the kids who needed those medications in childhood are also the kids who are are a bit at risk of having problems in adulthood. Um, So that's one thought I have is I try to reassure people that um, it's, I, I think any serious and obvious negative developmental consequences my belief is that they would have been apparent at this time. Yep. So that's one thing yep. I say. The other thing I say is, well, what are the developmental consequences of um, multiple daily tantrums? Exactly. And how does that affect someone's self-concept, self-worth? How does that affect someone's ability to um, you know, develop relationships, engage in school, um, manage stressors? You know? And so I, I try to note that that behavior um, has significant a significant psychological impact. And more than that, um, I don't know what the the impact is on the brain. I don't know if being so depressed or so irritable or so inattentive or whatever it is doesn't have its its own. Well, certainly presents learning right. difficulties, certainly presents yeah. relationship difficulties. And as you pointed out, the, the self-identity, like people basically um, writing that person off, or in this case, a child as, as irritable, grumpy, mean, um, yeah. you know, and that wasn't happening, thankfully in this, in this particular family's case, um, you know, but it was certainly breaking down the family functioning and, yeah. you know, if the family breaks down, then clearly you have more 
tragic things unfolding than dealing with the potential of, well, should I take medication or not? Like the tragedy is already unfolding. It's out of the gate. Yes. So why not, why not get results? So again, back to sort of the, my mantra here, 